Okay. So that's all sort of the undergraduate. That's all should be review if you've had an undergraduate course in solid mechanics. Right? What we want to do in this class is we, we want to be able to predict the deformation of solid bodies, right? volume. And it's pretty obvious that if you could predict any arbitrary line segment in a body, meaning you know where every line segment is at all times, then you can construct volumes from those line segments and you can predict you know, their deformation with, a, with an appropriate constitutive model. I mean, constitutive model meaning a, a relationship between deformation and force, or stress and strain, right? So, uh, what we want to do in this class is we want to understand, basically, how line segments change from one configuration to the other. So we're going to have a little line segment. I'm going to call it D capital S. And I'm going to try to be judicious about putting these little, because it's hard to tell a capital S from a little s, right? So I'm going to try to be judicious about putting these uh, little bars on my s, right? And we're going to deform that body, and after deformation, that same line segment is now the little s. And just to introduce some terminology, let's name these configurations. So this first one, and it's the one that I'm going to try to consistently use in the class, we're going to call the reference configuration. Reference configuration. Okay. Now, sometimes in the literature, you'll see it called the undeformed configuration. Now, I put, well, I didn't even spell that correct. <laughs> Sorry. Let's try it again. Undeformed configuration. So I put the undeformed in quotes because undeformed is relative, right? I mean, if we're talking about a, a piece of steel casing, clearly at one time in its history, it was an ingot somewhere, right? Before it was, de so it was deformed into a steel casing, right? If we're talking about, um, you know, uh, geology at reservoir depths, clearly that it's been deformed over the history of the Earth through the tectonic motion, right? So. Undeformed is relative, and it's why I don't really like that word. But in this in this setting, if I say undeformed, and I may just say it out of habit, and you'll certainly see it in literature, if I say it, what I mean is reference configuration, the, the point from which we're going to judge everything else or refer everything else from, okay? So also you may hear this or see this in the literature. It's called the Lagrangian configuration. And that's consistent with our notion of Lagrangian strain that I described earlier, right? If you remember, the Lagrangian strain was normalized by the original length, right? And here, the reference configuration is the original configuration, right? Okay. So over here, then, we have the current configuration is one word that I'll, and I'll try to use it consistently. You'll also see this called the deformed configuration. And sometimes, especially those of you with a background in fluid mechanics, might see this as the Eulerian configuration. And again, that's consistent with our previous defi definition of Eulerian strain, where the, the normalization was done with respect to the final length, right? Okay? 